Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and I was always told I had a voice radio, and today we are back on our pocket journey, and we are going to be doing a tournament, the Blue League tournament, as it were. So I'm not going to show you every game I ever play on Pokken, that's a little bit silly, but I think by the time we get to the tournament and the promotion battle, I think it's time to involve you guys, I think it's time to show you the progress we're making. So remember the way the one player works, I'm with Garchomp of course, the way the one player works is that you go through a whole bunch of league fights when you get to the stage that you are in the top eight of a particular league you get to enter into a single elimination tournament and you are not allowed to change your support set between rounds so I've gone for Frogadier and Eevee so let's have a gander I'm against Gardevoir first and she gets a ranged attack on me nice and quickly. She comes in and she hits me, gets the early lead. But I managed to hit her back with a dig and then a sand tomb. Although this is before I've really gotten into combos. I should be trying to put these into combos. You're going to see that in future videos. Now I did hit her with another dig and I tried a dragon rush but I missed. And Gardevoir there, she's hitting me. Now my defense is pretty high. So Gardevoir's not doing a whole bunch of damage and my attack is quite high here. So I'm actually in a situation where I get another dig, I get an earthquake, and I'm actually doing a whole bunch of damage. Now I call in Frogadier, he does some ranged attacks to help me out, and one more dig and Gardevoir goes down, and I end up victorious. Now I'm on the regular cheer settings here, so that means that if I win my round, then the support Pokemon I didn't choose, they go up into full, and I've got an Eevee ready to go. So I'm trying not to just dig randomly, because as you get further on in the game, if you just dig, and don't get me wrong, in dual phase, in field phase, you dig, your computer starts blocking it a bit more, so you have to be a little more careful, a little more selective. So I am getting beaten up a little bit by Gardevoir here. I'm not exactly playing too well, I'm not doing too much, but I do manage to catch her off guard with a throw, and you see how much damage Garchomp is doing. I call in an Eevee and he gives me some kind of help. I can't exactly remember. It's not all that great. I like the Frogadier. But I do get to do my Synergy Burst. And unfortunately, I try my Burst Attack. And as I'm about to hit with my Burst Attack, Gardevoir comes out and hits with her Burst Attack. And it does quite a lot of damage. Now, I'm not out of the woods yet. I've still got my Burst. I'm still about even with her. And I just run in and get a couple of simple attacks off. It's not the most elegant way to go and win a fight. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? If it works, it works. Garchomp is victorious. Now, I am finding as I go through, I love me some Garchomp. And, you know, I've done my video with Gengar. I've done my video with Charizard. And next time, we're going to have a Skepdar video coming up soon. But honestly, the more I play with Garchomp, the slower and more awkward he gets to fight with. So I'm putting my defense up a little bit there in the hope that I can keep going. And I'm going to have to fight me a Pikachu. Now Pikachu, we haven't seen many videos with Pikachu. He is a speed character, if I remember correctly. Which means he's going to run around. He's going to try and hit me with some combos. He's not going to be hitting as hard as Garchomp. But he's going to try and get in enough hits that he really controls the pace of the fight. And that I'm essentially left with naff all to do. So we get some, and you see even there, you know, his ranged attacks are much quicker than me. So I try and get some backwards ranged attacks and I miss, but I can hit a forward ranged attack. I pop it into dual phase, I get a dig, and then I catch him in a sand tomb. Although there is a fairly easy combo to pull off after sand tomb, which I'm not doing. And I'm quite frankly wasting my time not doing it so much. Now I'm going aggressive here because I know I've got the advantage in terms of attack. And I actually charge Sand Tomb a bit there. It's a bit more awkward because you've got to try and time it correctly. But when you do, it does more damage. I get a hit on with Frogadier. And I'm blocking here because he's trying to combo me. He's trying to hit me. But of course, he uses my trick against me. I block. He throws. But I come back with a dig. And a fairly decisive round one win there with Garchomp. Now, Garchomp, the advantage I've got here is I'm a power character. I hit harder. So I want to go in and start just punching Pikachu right in the face. He's going to want to run around. He's going to want to do some ranged attacks. He's going to want to come in for some combos. So you see here, I'm biding my time. I get in close and I hit a Sand Tomb. But what I don't do, I mistime my strong attack. I fly directly over him. And Pikachu goes ahead and gets in a few hits. 
Now, as well as I should be comboing after Sand Tomb, I should also be comboing... Oh, sorry, I get... Uh, my attack goes up and my HP recovers when I use Eevee. He's quite nice just as a kind of getting some HP back. When I'm doing my strong attack in dual phase, I should be leading that on to a little bit of a combo as well. Essentially, you do a couple of weak attacks and you juggle them just a little bit in the air. It's a useful little attack indeed. Now, I've become a bit of a fan of Earthquake. Earthquake's an awkward attack. Now, I try a throw, but it is unfortunately countered. Nobody gets to do a throw. Now, here, I do my synergy burst, but I hit with a burst attack here. And off we go. Now, one of the things you'll notice about Garchomp, as opposed to Gengar in my previous video, his synergy gauge tends to build up a little bit slower. Gengar, a lot of the time, I'm able to get my synergy burst going in round one of a fight. Whereas with Garchomp, generally synergy burst is something to be reserved for round two. So, yeah. That's what we're talking about with Synergy Burst. And now I get to face against a Pikachu Libre. And kind of similar to Pikachu. Same kind of, you know, he's all speed and all that. But there's, there's a, he's different. He's not the exact same character here. So let's not treat him exactly the same. He is still a speed character, mind you. So he's not all that different. I haven't put in much time with him. But I've spoken to people that have. He's not all that different from Pikachu. At least from initial impressions. So again, I'm trying to get around him. I'm trying to run around in field phase. I hit with a front-ranged attack, and I knock it into dual phase. Garchomp likes dual phase. He wants to get in close. He wants to smash. He's got some really good attacks, and he doesn't want to be running around in field phase. In field phase, someone like Pikachu, who's got much faster range attacks, really can do some damage. But as we see, Pikachu Libre does a lot less damage than Garchomp at this stage. So it really is a situation where as long as I can get a few good hits in, I'm going to be feeling okay. But when something like this happens and he starts juggling me in the air, we're starting to look a little bit worried. Now I do hit him with my Frogadier. Only the once, but I get a hit in. And I sit there blocking and I manage to time that grab beautifully. Right as he comes in, I get the grab and then I finish him off with a dig. Because what do you do in field phase, ladies and gentlemen? That's right. You dig. And hopefully I'm going to get... Now, I like winning round one with Garchomp. Because you see there, my synergy gauge is quite close to being full. So I'm liking my chances that even if I fall behind in this game... And remember, when you get beaten up, your synergy gauge starts filling up as well. So it means I'm likely to have my synergy gauge this round. So if I win round one, I'm generally feeling pretty good in round two. Because I've got my synergy gauge. There is my synergy burst. And now Garchomp's synergy burst... Now, Gengars, I've been told it's unblockable, I'm not sure if that's entirely true, but it's at least very difficult. Garchomp is not the case. Garchomp, if you, especially in field phase, it can be easy to miss with it. So you've got to be careful. There's that earthquake attack I used earlier, and, oh, as Pigs uses his synergy burst. But, of course, we're in, oh, we're in dual phase there, and I dig, but either way, it works. Now, one of the things I have learned is you can cancel those digs, either just as a straight cancel or as a jump. So you can actually dig towards them, jump over them, and then start smashing them. If they go and hit you, then that's a bad thing. But if they block, then you jump right over them and you can get a nice hit in with on them. Oh, I have an achievement. Oh, beginner. But I mean, these, these, they're not invincible myths, so I'm not going to use them, quite frankly. I like that earthquake attack. It's one that involves me kind of jumping around a bit, and it makes you vulnerable. You've got to be careful with an attack like Earthquake. You basically jump in field phase, push A, and you use Earthquake. You come down, do a bit of damage. But it's one of these you've got to be a little bit careful with. Now, I've opened up Reshiram and Cresselia. I love this support set. Reshiram is slow charging. He does a huge attack. And Cresselia charges fast. You get HP and Synergy Gauge. So clearly, if you're using the cheer skill I'm using... Reshiram comes around in round two when he's automatically full. Now, it does mean that I can get a support gauge to the max, both of them as a cheer skill. But honestly, I'd rather have the regular cheer skill where the one I didn't use gets filled. Although I do like the fact with that one, you automatically get them both filled. You know, you, you get to use whichever one you like. So, as always, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you click the like button. If you haven't done so already, why not? You make me sad. Make sure you comment anything you want to see. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. If you have, 
get a friend to subscribe. I'm going to be back with more Pokken videos very shortly indeed. In the next video, we are going to be seeing my second promotion battle and the return of Shadow Mewtwo. And in a couple of days' time, we are going to see how Skeptar plays. Thank you very much for watching. Look after yourselves till next time. My name is Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.